What's going on? Got three fragrances for you all today. Not going to waste no time. These three fragrances are going to be perfect um, springtime. A lot of these are really year round. So I hope you all enjoy. This is Marvin with Preaching Sense. And first one on the list is going to be Leon Adio by Guerlain. Now this right here, you all probably have seen this one before. This is probably the most common one that's going to be on this list. Uh, this one um, opens up with the bergamot. You can smell the lavender. has some spices in it. Um, the nutty almond comes out r uh, right away, which is really makes it such a smooth uh, fragrance. Beautiful cherry note uh, with uh, a little bit of rose and some vanilla. The vanilla really comes out towards the dry down. This has some tonka, some leather and notes in the um, and some sandalwood in the dry down too. But the cherry and the vanilla and the almonds really play a big part in this fragrance. It's really good. I think even for the spring, um, you can really kind of carry this throughout the year. Uh, maybe not in the highest of heats. And this will run you about $70. You probably can find this one on discounts. This is one of the ones that's easier to find. Um, so check it out. Um, Leom Ideal, Ideal by uh, Guerlain. And the next one on the list, this one right here, I don't hear it talked about as much, but this is uh, Vince Kamutu Virtue, if I'm saying it correctly. Uh, this right here is very unique, very unique fragrance right here. Um, hmm. Just, I don't think I smell. This is another one of the ones. I don't think I smell anything quite like it. This one, the closest this one comes to is actually Santal 33. So if you like Santal 33, which is more expensive fragrance, this one right here runs you about 25 bucks. It has this um, papyrus, this woody kind of note in there. It has cardamom in there. So, you know, cardamom is always very warm, uh, kind of a green, reminds you of something baking in the oven. Um, it has birch in it, which gives it a nice leathery um, vetiver moss in there. Um, has some sandalwood and some um, more some leathery and musk and cedar and a dry down. Just a beautiful fragrance that you can get for twenty five bucks. You know you can't beat that. That's why you see me spraying so much of it because twenty five bucks. You know you can is rarely available. Go out and try it. This is truly a blind buy worthy type fragrance um, for 25 bucks. So Vince Kamutu Virtue, go out and give it a try. Last one on this, this one's a little bit, costs a little bit more than the other ones on this list. Um, actually, you know what? It's actually not that much. This one run you about 55, 60 bucks, depending on where you find it. And this right here is by uh, Etat Libre de Orange. Um, it's hard to say these uh, these names, some of these names, but this is Une Amoret. And this right here, um, good date night fragrance. It is it, the iris, the woods, has neroli in it, so it gives it a nice orange and honey uh, type of smell. Has some oud, and it's a little powdery in the dry down. My goodness, this is such a good fragrance. I, you got to get your nose on this. Get your nose on this. Give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. It just smells amazing. Um, so this one, as I said, runs you about $55, $60. So give, give one of these a shot. You can still wear them this time of year. You could probably wear them in um, the summer when it's not as warm. Um, you can wear these all casually. Um, as I said, the last one I mentioned might be more of a, more of the date night one, but you know, you could, I, I'd wear any of these on a date. So, you know, give it a shot. Let me know what you all think. This is Myron preaching since, and hope to catch you on next video. Like subscribe. Let me know what you all think of these fragrances. Um, leave some comments and I will catch you on the next video.